What is up, Retro Maniacs? Mike, Mike's Retro Trading Cards, and today I got back my 20 card PSA order. Let's check it out. Okay, it's always a fun day when you get an order back from PSA, at least until you look at the grades, but, uh, Got this 20 card order in. I sent it at the end of December. Wanted to take advantage of the take advantage of the $15 special before it ended. Was sent out the very end of December. They received it on January 4th, and I got it back today, which is the 7th of February. So just a little over a month. They're really, really doing well with their turnaround time. So Let's see what I have here. They're mostly wrestling cards, mostly for my PC. Uh, have a couple Rob Deer deck cards in here as well, too. I just wanted to get graded. So we will see how we did. All right, we're going to start off with a Paul Heyman. Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. This one is from 2015. I have a couple of these in here and I got a nine. Kind of what I thought on that. I, I sent a few of these in. I'm not really sure that any of them have a chance at a 10, but very happy with a nine on that. That's for my PC. Okay, we have a 2022 Prism Green Pulsar Ultimate Warrior, number 25 out of 25. And that got nine as well. I was kind of hoping for a 10 on that, but you see the centering is off. Just probably a little bit too much on that to get a 10. Still a fair grade. Happy with that too. Okay, we have a 2022 Prism Paul Heyman. Uh, what are these called? I think these are called Pulsar as well or something out of 25. Number three out of 25. Oh, it's a green one. I got a 10. Very nice for the collection. Very happy with that. See the centering. Centering on these two, just about the same. So there might have been something else on the Warrior card to keep it from being a 10. All right, we have one of our Rob Deerdeck 2000 Fleer Adrenaline Rookie cards. Like I said, these cards aren't super valuable, but I wanted to have a couple slabbed. Uh, kind of tough with the dark borders on back. I'm not really expecting 10s, but hoping for 9s. And got a 9 on that one. I have a couple more of these in the order somewhere. Hey, we have another Paul Heyman. Tops, Tops Chrome Gold Refractor from 2015. And another 9. And another one of those. Got a 10 on that one. Awesome. So very happy with that. Two nines and a 10 out of the three I sent in. Okay, here we have a 2014 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor of Paul Heyman. Also numbered out of 50. Uh, thought this one had a chance at a 10. Never, never assume a 10, but I thought it would have a chance. And it got a 10. Wow, fantastic. 2014 Chrome is not the easiest to get a 10 out of. That one, I bought it raw. It just looked really clean. I already have a 10. Not sure if I'll keep both in my collection, but I, I thought that one had a good chance and it did get a 10. So, all right, here's another Rob Deerdeck rookie. Um, One of these is gold. So one of these two I have here should be the gold one. And got an eight on the gold. Darn. I was really hoping for a nine out of that. Like I said, they were kind of kind of borderline between a eight and nine. So I'm not terribly surprised it got an eight, but still a nice card. And the last one got nine. We got nine on both the regulars and eight on the gold. Okay, we have another. Paul Heyman out of Prism, out of 25, and got an 8 on that one. Must have missed something on the surface on that, because it was centered really well, but to look that over a little bit. Okay. 
the Roman Reigns. I think this is the Rose Gold Refractor out of 75 and an eight on that. Some of those are tough. They have the finest, a lot of the finest refractors have very, very light print lines running down through it. So that one must've hurt that one. I'm gonna save this one for last. Okay, we have a Stephanie McMahon here out of 2015 Chrome. Atomic Refractor got nine. Another card I bought raw that looked pretty good. I knew it didn't have a 10. You can see the centering is way off. But other than that, it looked really clean. So I figured it'd be worth sending in. Nine is very happy, very happy with that one. All right, John Cena. This is a short print out of 2021 Finest. Got nine. Very cool card. Like I said, all of the 2021 Finest, they're just very light print lines. I've had some get 10s, most of them get 9s. They're just really tough to get 10s out of, though. I have another, oh, another fifth, uh, 2015 Topps Chrome Paul Heyman. I guess I've sent four of these in, not just three. Another Gold Refractor, and another 9. Very successful on those. Okay, we have another John Cena short print. Another 9. And a third one, and another nine. Well, I guess they just didn't give, want to give that a 10. Okay, here's a Braun Breaker. I'm not really sure why I sent this in. It was out of 149 out of Revolution. Um, I don't really think it had a chance at a 10, but I think I wanted to send it in for the 20th card. So, oh, and we got a 10, of course. So. <laughs> Of course, the one I didn't think had a chance at a 10 gets a 10, but I'm not going to complain. Good grade. Okay, I have two Sasha Banks NXT rookies here. Again, probably not 10s. Probably looking in that 8 to 9 range. And again, I'm wrong. I got a 10. Fantastic. I will take that. Not bad for buying a card raw. Let's send it in. And here's the second one and got nine out of that one so they were very good and my last one have a 2022 select the rock tie-dye uh mezzanine level tie-dye number 10 out of 25 and i got a nine. Oh, i really wanted that card to get a 10 that card was beautiful i don't know what they didn't like about it i mean a tiny little bit off center right to left maybe but I don't know. I was worried they might just give it a 9 instead of a 10, but uh, still a good card. I was really hoping for a little bump in value on that because the card was just absolutely beautiful. But there's my order. Uh, overall, not too bad. Very happy with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be back soon. Thanks.